YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Can Palantir stay above $23? So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So excuse me, guys. I just picked my son up uh, from the daycare, and we always do a walk with our stroller. So excuse the way my shirt's looking now. Palantir, okay, is up 7.5% over the last five trading days. And at one point, we were at $23.95. Now, can we stay above $23 is a question. So let's go ahead and look at what's going to be happening next week. So next week is going to be a major week, okay? Monday is going to be chill. I would expect it to kind of be flat. Tuesday, there's not much going on either, as you can see. So Tuesday, we could potentially have a small sell-off as investors get ready for Wednesday, which is going to be a massive day, right? It may, short-timers may do a sell-off uh, because they don't know what's going to happen, you know, overnight. So you're seeing we have CPI coming out on Wednesday morning. Uh, you got the, the CPI year over year. You got so core CPI. And usually what happens is, is the market kind of reacts to the numbers that come out. And Palantir will be will have, be no exception to this, right? Unless something drastic just happens over the weekend. Uh, the, Palantir is not going to have an exception to this. So um, the numbers are going to come out. Palantir and the other stocks are going to react. And um, we don't know exactly how the full reaction is going to be um, until the market opens, which is going to be at 930. And then whatever it decides to do is going to do. And then guess what what's hap What happens after that? You got the FOMC meeting, okay? And you've got the monthly U.S. federal budget. And then at 2.30, you have Jerome Powell, uh, who's going to be speaking. And every time he speaks, the market reacts. So um, this is going to be one of those days where I do some day trading. This is really like the only day of the month that I'll do day trading because I know it's pretty much a given that it, I'll I'll probably make some money. OK, so um, because of what's going on with the economic data that will be coming out, we got PPI coming out on Thursday, initial jobless claims. Um, we've got import price index on Friday. And then we got consumer sentiment on Friday. I mean, this is going to be a mega week. So you got CPI and Jerome Powell speaking on the same day. That's that's going to be crazy. OK, now. Right now with with um, with Palantir, we're sitting at twenty three dollars and thirty four cent. OK. Now, if. We are going to have a small sell off on Tuesday leading up to the mega day on Thursday. I can see us retesting $23 per share for Palantir. We could probably go down underneath. Who knows? Okay. Now the CPI numbers come out and let's say the, the numbers are good. The stock goes back above $23 a share, but then guess what? We got to wait and see what Jerome Powell says. So there could be a potential that Palantir and the rest of the market blast off. So if that happens, I would assume Palantir will be well above $24 next week. If all of the, the data comes in great and Jerome Powell is dovish, meaning he's going to be soft. Uh, with his decisions and how he delivers the message. Okay. Now, if he comes in aggressive or hawkish, meaning that he is bearish on, on, on interest rates, right? Meaning that he's going to decide to bring the rates up, then the market would sell off. But if he just keeps the rates the same, and he's dovish, guess what? The markets will probably explode up, okay? But we have to factor in that the, the, the CPI numbers and then PPI numbers the following day are really going to have an impact on how the, those, the stock prices move 
uh, and especially for Palantir as well in the short term. Okay, now Friday comes out, we got consumer sentiment and um, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't really know how consumers uh, feel about the current economy. Are they confident? Are they not confident? We just don't know. So because of that, I can see us going well above $24 or I can see us uh, retesting uh, $23. And if we can't hold at $23, we'd be retesting $22. So for me to kind of top this week off, the following week for Palantir in a shorter term, we're looking at going well above $24 but we're coming back to retest $22, okay? Now, for me, it makes no difference because I just simply dollar cost average. I don't really care which way that it goes. Now, over time, you know, two, three, four, five, you know, years, yes, I would like to see the overall trend go up, but the way that I'm investing in Palantir, it really makes me no mind because I'm a long-term uh, investor now. If you're more a short time and you're swing trading and all of this, then these levels are going to be important for you. But if you're long term and you just continue to dollar cost average, it really won't make a difference to you. OK, now this is what I think about what's going on with Palantir and if it can stay above twenty three dollars or not. And a shorter term is going to depend on next week. Next week is a major week. So we'll see. Now, listen, guys, I appreciate you guys. I would love for you to comment and let me know what you think uh, can potentially happen with Palantir. Um, or maybe a lot of you guys could potentially be like me. It makes you no, no, you know, it makes you no difference. But I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we're out, guys. Peace.